All right, so we're at. There's a beam right there. Ooh, yeah. At the former location of Fountains Ferry. Fountain Ferry. Fountain. Fa Fountain, Fountain Ferry. Fountain Ferry. I don't it's, know. It has it has an e at the end. It's okay. weird. All right. Well, that's where we are right now. We're, and they left the remnants of Comet here. And so we're going to look as much as we can because it's flooded. So and there's actually a footer right there. Oh yeah, I see that. Um, that that is one of the lead. That was one of the pieces of wood for the lift, because the lift and turnaround would have been right here. Okay. Um. So anyway, Comet was a ride designed and built by Philadelphia Toboggan, um, somewhere between 1950 and 1953. Someone will fact check me and we'll put it below. I know they will because <laughs> that's how the internet rolls. Yep. Um. But anyway, the ride, like after the park had closed, um, because and, and ownership changed a couple of times, heading from the 1960s into the 70s, um, it, they, the city purchased the park in 1981 because it had been abandoned, and so they didn't have a need, obviously, for a roller coaster, so they just shoved it over on itself and left it. So there's a lot of things that are left, such as road rails, footers. There's pieces of the painted lumber from the ride that are still here. Um, and all of this is on public property. So obviously, don't come back here every single day. Mm -hmm. But it is really cool to come back here just to see um, another place where people used to come and another coaster that people used to ride. Well, the remains of a coaster people used to ride. And this was a classic PTC out and back style ride. So think something along the lines of Blue Streak at Cedar Point. And from the pictures that I found, um, which the only ones I've found that are available are on the, the University of Louisville's um, archives. This thing looked like it was an airtime machine and it had buzz bars. So um, it was definitely a classic ride. Um, and it's, you know, it's hard to believe that it, it's been torn down since 1981. Is that something? A lot of trees fell. Uh, that's something. I don't know what it's from, but it's something. I mean, that's something from the park or the ride, one of the two. Nice. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. All right, so this is one of the supporting footers here. So think of the bends on the ride, yeah. and how they would have gone outward to support the superstructure of the lift or the drop. That's one of the supporting ones. Nice. So that's new. Uh, every time I come back here, I'm finding more and more like new stuff that was left in this stupid thing. Look at me being an urban explorer holding my coffee. All right, Nate, I present to you oh. what's left of a PTC. This is only a tip of the iceberg, dude. There's a road rail. See it? Yeah, I see. Yeah, I see that. And there's a conduit for the ride. Okay. Um, there's a rail right there. And of course, if you look at these footers, the you will notice that they are the exact same style of footers um, as seen on other PTC rides, such as Racer, Blue Streak. It's on the drop would have been somewhere close by here. Precise location, I'm not fully sure of. Because the ride actually goes further into the woods than what I thought it did. Um, and we'll see it here in a second, maybe. Um, when it was dry, um, and I was back here one day because it was hot, it was like 64, 65 degrees. The ride actually goes further back into the woods than what I thought it did. Okay. And so when when I was like, okay, I had to leave, and I started making my way back up the hillside here, I came out of the brush, and I was like all the way over at the uh, baseball field. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, um, I mean, it was not a, you know, like short, short ride. Like, it definitely ran probably at about 50-ish, 50, 55-ish. 50, Oh, that's where the that's where the wood is. There's another okay uh, conduit there. Oh, well, that's the same. Whoa. No, this is this is the same that's one. The same what? This is the same conduit. Huh? And it keeps going over there too. You see where it splits? Well, you can't really see it on the I'll camera. Be dang. You can see it. Yeah. 
This could have been where the station was at some point. So any wood that you see that has that dark green paint on it, like that, that's a piece of wood from the ride. Nice. This looks very similar to another piece we saw. And what we're thinking is that could have very well been the trains because right there. Oh yeah, I see that over there. So what we're thinking is the city, when they demolished it, they didn't even take the trains off the track. They just shut the thing over on itself. Because <laughs> there's more wood right there too in front of you. Look at all that. Yep. And a road, a road rail. So the thing that's tragic about Fountain Ferry, and if you want to come over here, yep, look right here. See the red? Yeah. Now, all the photos of this ride are in black and white. The clearest, crisp ones, again, University of Louisville Archives. Uh, they're dated from 1964. That was the year that the park began to include African Americans in allowance for admission. Um, and the reason why you know, there was somebody there in 1964 was because African Americans were coming into the park, which had previously been whites only, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, but those photos are all black and white. So this could be a piece from the train. Not sure. But, I mean, it also wouldn't be too much of a stretch either. You can tell from the video we're not making this up. Like, yeah. this was a ride that was here. Like, we have seen road rails already. There's... <laughs> There's all that stuff. <laughs> this has been here since 81. Yeah. 81. And it's a piece. It's a piece from the ride. It's just so insane to think about. Oh, yep. We set that piece up last time we were here. So no one's oh, been nice. back here since we were here. <laughs> or at least no one's touched anything. Right. And Nate, here's the creme de la crop. Oh. All of that is lumber from this ride. Ooh. That doesn't even look as worn as the other stuff because it's under all this. See, that's what makes me think this area up here has never gotten underwater. Wow. Now see, this is the part I'm confused about, okay? Be Wait a minute. Okay, so let me explain why this is confusing to me. So if you look behind you, you have the significantly larger footers. The ride had the turnaround drop, as I said. Well, the climb up, you know, ascend the lift, turn around, drop. Now, something that you notice with PTC rides is um, if there's a huge turnaround or if there's a, uh, like a turn at the top of a lift, they always had guide wires that would run to that portion of the structure to help support it when it swayed. Mm -hmm. That foundation's right here. I didn't see that last time. So that means, I think we're standing in the lift in the drop. It has to be. Because the only place where they would have poured that would have been in the middle between, between both sets of track. I think what's so funny is look at how weird the PTC footers looked on the underside. Yeah. Um, now what's really interesting is there's a footer over here. Somebody during the construction of the ride threw a glass mug <laughs> into where they were pouring the concrete. And the mug is still there. Oh. It's it's in the concrete. Wow. So and who knows how that mug is. See, this is we're thinking this was a train because look right it here. It looks like it. Well, think about the PTC trains. They had trim on them, right? Yeah. What and does this look like right here? The trim. That it looks does, like the trim. Yeah. The footers kept going all the way down through there. Um, but again, the water is up really close to where a lot of those other footers were. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to get that far. Here's another one. That was the yeah. guide wires right here. See? Yeah. Because if you, if you look at pictures of the racer from inside its turnaround, same exact kind of setup. Oh, Nate, there it is. Oh, there's the mug. Okay, wow, that is a very <laughs> old looking the mug. Close up. That's insane. 
it might okay it might be broken a little bit right here but for the most part yeah, oh it, actually that might be one of those uh old jug sort of things you know how like those uh natural maple syrups come in nowadays uh, they're like real small well sure. this one would have been big because like this could be the screw thing i'm not focusing this could be a screw thing and then like the bottle goes here you know what i'm saying yeah. Like one of those old time bottle looking things. I feel like that might be what that is. What you're seeing is only barely a fourth of this ride. Oh wow. I mean, this was not a small ride. That's a piece of a guy wire. Holy cow. It's a piece of a guy wire. That is a piece of the... I stepped on it like, this is bouncy. <laughs> Well, those could go anywhere when they snap, you know? Well, yeah, but still, like, but look at the proximity of it. Like, that's yeah. where they would have bolted in. True. And that, there could be something under this. So, well, what's funny is, so I was here with some friends the other day, and they were dying to figure out if there were any wheels from the trains, or maybe even the chain oh, from the yeah. ride, still buried in all of this. And I said, well, maybe. I said, but, you know, that's really, you know, small. I said, but also at the same time, the city only shoved the ride over on itself. Yeah. If that, like... <laughs> yeah. Guide wire. You, you, you cannot make this up. That's from the ride. That's like, nuts. That is, that is from the ride. Whoa, whoa, this has writing on it. Yeah, so... They're old, the old bricks back in the day when they would be used, the company that made the brick would put the name of the company itself onto the bricks. Whoa. So if you look at old structures, you'll see that. How about a road rail growing out of the ground? All right, let's see it. Here's the rail that appears to be growing out of the ground. Not quite, but it's kind of, this one's actually really, not really bent or anything. It's pretty intact for the most part. You can see the guide holes and then a couple of the nails they used in there. And then, yeah, there's another one down here that's even more buried. Yeah, so this is the one that was basically kind of growing out of the ground. Is it whether or not some of it was that okay. shelter up there mainly because of how weird it's built for a park shelter the concrete is poured in a very peculiar fashion um, <laughs> so needless to say it could have been but it's a stretch um, unless we find some kind of like documentation and if this was a station yeah I think there would be more footers around it because the grade I know for a fact the ride itself came and it, it did a drop out of the like it followed the, the topography mm -hmm. did a drop to the lift and I think it did a 180 turn well a 360 turn to the lift kind of so think it's similar fashion to say um, Blue Streak does it uh, racer does it you know you beast does it you know you come out of the station you have that long gated slow turn and then you slowly go straight and you line yourself up with the left yeah. and see this is the other thing that makes me think this could have been the station too look at how high this is perched yeah. right here like and you can tell that all this was shoved right to this spot the hand railing the style of the hand railing is also extremely old and if you think about it, a lot of the footers are right around in here. Right. This would have overlooked the ride directly. Like, this concrete is definitely from the park, though. Yeah. Because it has the patina on it. The last time you saw intentionally curved rails, made in 2019. The only thing that kind of gives it away is the grading coming out from right here. Mm -hmm. In this general area, the grading is really nice and linear just where you would have in theory dropped below the lift to turn around and go back to the lift but again we don't know the full layout of the ride right <coughs>
so. Yeah, that was really cool exploring uh, where Fountain Ferry used to be and, and Comet. So, yeah. Off to off, off to, to Jacks. <laughs> off to an indoor park in the middle of March, uh, which is going to be fun.